So here we are in central Serbia, uh, just east of Kozmaj, K-O-S-M-A-J. And uh, this is a little hill here. It's really interesting. It was excavated as a quarry. And you can see the machinery. They're not working on it now, but it's been a quarry for a long time. They're getting these stones uh, for building. And, uh, but what I'm interested in is um, the structure of the hill and wondering if the hill is built as many hills in the Visoko Bosnia area are there next to the Bosnian pyramid complex. So I have this interesting layering and uh, we're going to explore a little bit of this in detail today. Very, very interesting. Very, very interesting. Could be natural. Could be natural. So that's where we were on the left over there and now we're walking along just a few meters and we see this really interesting line of excavation. You can see the top of the, I'm just going to come back out a little bit, you can see the top being so regular. The line is really regular even though, even though the, uh, the bottom you know, the composition of the hill is of this really, really, really strong tortured material, seemingly tortured if it was natural, and yet the top is perfectly smooth. It doesn't make any sense. If this stuff came into existence by the forces of nature, the hill would not be so smooth at the top, would be my first thought on all of this. But I'm, I'm, I want to encourage people to think of this, and I, this is just a hypothesis right now. I'm just saying, instead of looking at this as a natural formation, if we start to think of it as poured or brought here by means that we don't have any idea how they did it, then that might be useful. So we're just going to go in here and see what we can find. So all of this has been purposely excavated for stones. Otherwise we'd be climbing a hill right now, but we're not, we're walking a flat. And so everywhere we look, we see a layered structure. And then the question is, was it built or made by nature? Let's look over here and let's see what we got over here. So the hill goes down to the right there and it goes up, 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 up. But there's been excavation, see, so there's a break there where they take out, where they've taken out the stones. This is interesting. All right, so that's where we were. We just climbed up here. Here's the faithful dog following us. And we have an amazing amount of clear excavation here. And uh, what I want to do first though is look at this stone. We have the same thing we had in the Bosnian pyramid concrete. And I want to encourage 
anyone listening to this video to think of this as some kind of concrete and not natural as a hypothesis still don't know just thinking along those lines and for some reason we had veins like this calcite veins in the Bosnian pyramid of the Sun concrete you can see the veins run all through this stuff so I'll just get back a little bit you can see all those veins could be natural right could very well be natural but then again What if it's not? If it's not natural, that's really, really, really important to know. So even if the chances of this being artificial are very small, I think it's important that we pursue this possibility. And there are clues, like these calcite veins, that this could be artificial. Now, this dog is clearly waiting for something interesting to happen. And let's see if we can make something interesting happen now. Let's go over here. Here's some more of these calcite veins. More calcite. I'm seeing something real interesting, which we also saw along the Foynitsa River bank. We know the Foynitsa River is built at least from Foynitsa Grad, the town of Foynitsa, to Visoko. And we know the Bosna River is also built uh, in, the, in the Visoko area. But look at this, look at this interesting vein. Almost as if Let's say that you were building a hill and you were layering it layer by layer and then you stopped and went to get some more material and then this is where you stopped right here on the right that's that was done first perhaps that very straight line right And then the stuff on the left was put on afterwards. Possibility. It's pretty much everywhere, this calcite. Here it's just running through the whole thing. Yeah. Significantly layered. Hmm. Not the way we would have done it. If we built a hill, we wouldn't have done it this way. At all. Going across and up to the right. You see that seam. Could be natural. But if we're building in sections, if we're the ancients and we're building in sections, we would have seams. And we see the seams all over the Bosnian Pyramid complex. Uh, we have these interesting seams. You'll have this, uh, what I call, as I mentioned, clamudcrete. And then you'll have suddenly a really straight seam. It won't be going perfectly horizontal. It won't be going perfectly vertical. There's no telling which way it'll go, but there'll be a seam to separate one part of construction from another. And there's absolutely no reason for a seam to be perfectly straight in nature. Suddenly, in this, what looks like to be tortured rock, just no reason at all, but there are these seams, and then we find them here too. Look at all this uh, quartz, or this uh, quartz calcite. It's just everywhere, everywhere you look. Just gonna get a couple photos. There. Right there, below that rock, below the 
quartz calcite. Look at that. Wow. Let me just see if we can get a nice photo of that right now. And the seam there too, wow. Let me just capture the seam. Every time I see these seams, I think, I don't think, oh, the ancients got tired and they decided to do a new section. No, they're not tired. They have a way of doing it. That is efficient. There it is. And then they just stop and do another section. Right there. My friends, look at that seam. It's so, it's exactly what we see in Bosnia. Look how straight that seam is. Remarkable, right? Amongst that crazy, tortured looking material. Wow. And that's a seam in the rock. That's not a, uh... see, because I think that they did vertically dynamite here. But I gotta, I gotta confirm that with this really nice guy that I met named Nemanja, who works for the Forest Service. And uh, I'm gonna confirm whether they use dynamite here or not. We have different seams going different ways here. We have this seam here. going off to the right and we know that that's not a the result of a a drilled hole for dynamite and then we have another seam below that which is not quite as straight but is even better in showing us that it couldn't possibly be a um, a drilled because it curves it couldn't be a drilled uh, hole for dynamite it's a curve so that you can't curve a drill hole so we know those are natural seams then the question is are these verticalish seams also natural or are those drill holes for dynamite ah then we have these seams which clearly are Natural, when I say natural, I mean <laughs> naturally part of what may be an artificial structure. Um, as opposed to a modern drilled scenario, because they do drill in. So here's some seams here. There's that seam there. And then there's this seam here. Very interesting. Let's go around the other side of this hill. All right, we're coming off the mountain. I'm just gonna, or off the hill, and I'm just going to uh, head up to the top because we were kind of in a little indentation there. It was kind of hard to get to the actual surface of the top of the hill. So I'm just gonna go around here and go to the top of the hill and do a little scratching around and see what is revealed with just using a little tool. Okay. So we're walking along here and there's this amazing estate that people are building. But there's also these amazing rocks right here. So I wanted to take a, a gander at. Gorgeous.
And those are just pieces from the pieces from the I think I'm going to go back up and these are the small trees that grow on this hill not big trees no big trees at all because the big trees can't get their roots into this rock into this stone that's a really beautiful estate this these people are developing here wow so we are looking at a hill and it looks natural but after seeing the kinds of hills and structures that we know are built in Bosnia we have to wonder if these are not possibly the same construction technique from ancient times let's continue to to investigate layers 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 right and you're like well Clearly, you can get layers in uh, nature, right? Yes, you can. And then we have this quartz calcite vein. Lots of veins. So, then we have to say to ourselves, let's say that this is layered naturally. Then, <clears throat> you've got all these layers, right? That means that these rather similar depth layers, a few inches each, uh, somehow uh, differentiated naturally. Why, why would they? Why would they differentiate in, into similar height or similar depth layers? Right? <clears throat> There's no particular reason they should. It's about four inches, a few 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 inches. It doesn't look like uh, sophisticated ancient technology, but I kind of have a feeling it is. And then the modern uh, wall came there and then they have the machine above so they can segregate the gravel and they can come and make themselves some money on some gravel. But this was one piece, this whole hill was one piece before.